We're moving into the final third of the season and we've got it all to do. We were a long way behind the top four, but we managed to claw it back. We worked hard to win as many games as possible. But then a couple of important games come up, a couple of must-win games come up, games that we should have won, and we absolutely blew it. I guess that's the equivalent of a fat bastard going to the gym and losing weight and then returning to McDonald's two months later to become a fat bastard again. That's exactly what we done. We were in a shit position. We got ourselves into a good position. Then we threw away a couple of games, and now we are in a sh pretty shit position again, if we're being completely honest. We are 10 points behind Hibernian. We do have a game in hand, though. If we can win our game in hand against St Mirren, we can close the gap down to 7. Uh, we are, what, 12 points behind Rangers... Rangers are taking on Ross County at home today, so I cannot see Rangers slipping. So it is absolutely pivotal that we can pick up a win and make sure that we keep the pressure on them. I think Celtic are gone. Aberdeen, if Rangers win, they'll go on the same points as Aberdeen. Who knows? Aberdeen, maybe we can catch Aberdeen. But for now, I think Hibs is the most realistic target. Win the day, we go seven points behind them. Uh, if buts and maybes, but that is a fact win and we're only seven points behind Hibs but before we get into Hibs there is something that we need to sort out so I was offered an international job and I put it up in a poll on the last video to uh, essentially see if anybody wanted me to take it and the vote was yes so it looks like we're now going to be managing an international team as well as Hearts, but before we do it, like, before we take that job, let's have a look and see what jobs are available. So Mullerwell's looking a new manager, Dundee United's looking a new manager, Livingston's looking a new manager, Ross County's looking a new manager, basically all the shite teams in Scotland are looking new managers, uh, Norwich in the Championship are looking a new manager, who else, who, uh, Brighton, Brentford, Blackburn and Rovers, Middlesbrough, Nottingham Forest, there's some big teams here looking at new managers, uh, QPR, Birmingham, Millwall, Fulham, Fulham up and down, I mean one year you're going to be in the championship but the next year you're in the premiership but then you know you're going straight back down so what's the point even improving the squad when you look at it like that, you've got uh, Reading as well, so some big jobs there available but don't worry guys we ain't moving anywhere, we're not leaving hearts but we are taking up an international job and that international job will be Northern Ireland, Northern Ireland. So, uh, yeah, you can see it's a 12-month, I think it's a 12-month deal. Uh, they want us to qualify for the FIFA World Cup and they want us to qualify for the European Championships. Uh, we're going to go ahead and accept that. Not only will it be fun, not only will it be interesting to manage an international team, but it also gives us an option to actually see what players are like from this nation and if we want to potentially sign them for hearts. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, non-island shite, there's nobody in the non-island team good enough. To play for Hearts. And you know what? That may be true, even though Liam Boyce is currently in the squad. Michael Smith was in the squad. So we have had a connection with non Irish players. Uh, Kel Lafferty recently played for Hearts. So, I mean, who knows? This actually might be a pretty decent idea. But regardless, we're going to accept it. Look at that. We've signed the contract. We've signed our life, sorry. We've signed up for the shittiest job ever. Uh, we are now part of the NIFA. We are delighted that you have decided to accept the offer of head coach of our national team. Well, I'm delighted as well, but I probably won't be when I look at the squad. So let's have a look at the squad. Let's look at this Northern Ireland team and see what we are dealing with. So I don't know what the current international setup is. We've got Bailey Peacock Farrell, who is pretty good, 75 overall keeper. Not too bad. The other keepers are Aaron Dunn and Celtics Connor Hazard. I mean, I think Bailey Peacock Farrell will be the number one here going forward. I can't see anyone touching him. Uh, Jamal Lewis, who I believe plays for Newcastle. Decent talent, 77 overall left back. Then you've got Lewis Thompson at centre back. You've got Tom Flanagan. You've got Paddy McNair, a former Man United player. I believe he plays for Sunderland now. Uh, Daniel Ballard, Ryan Johnston, Kieran Brown, Cameron Dunnigan, Ryan McLaughlin. Uh, so let's move on to... I've got Matty Kennedy, who plays for Aberdeen, as I last... As things stand, I believe last time I checked, he plays for Aberdeen. Decent player, Jordan Jones, former Rangers man. Uh, you've got Stuart Dallas, who's actually pretty high rated in this. Uh, 75 overall, not bad. George Savile. I'd rather have George Savile in my team than Jimmy Savile in my team, so we'll take it, even though he's not that great. Ali McCann, 
who I thought was a really good player, just recently left St. Johnson, left them last year. Could be... I mean, I would have interest in bringing Ali McCann to Hearts, but the problem is our midfield's absolutely packed, especially the centre of it, so there's no real room for him. Uh, you've got Gavin White, you've got Shane Laffrey, Dion Charles, Paul Smith, and Josh McGuinness, the guy that used to be a goalkeeper and now he's a striker. So that's the non Ireland team at the moment, of course. There will be other players, there will be a whole nation pool to choose from, but that's who made the current squad. And um, interest, I mean, it's, there's some decent players in there, but overall, it's not really the strongest squad. Can we see what they're like in terms of... Let's have a look and see if we can find out what they're doing in terms of like standings and stuff. I believe that uh, we should be able to check that here. Uh, yeah, so... Qualifiers. Is this for the World Cup? Is this for the World Cup? I believe it is. We're currently second in the group. And I think... Does top two get you through? So wait, have they already qualified? Now hold on a second. I think they've already qualified. Because you only play eight. There's, yeah, there's... The second place... Is this the World Cup? If this is the World Cup, then... By my calculations, Northern Ireland will have to do a playoff. But if it's not the World Cup, if this is for the Euros, then they're automatically in it. What year are we in? What year are we? Are we in 2024? I think we are in 2024, aren't we? 2024. So that should be the... Yeah, that should be the Euros. Interesting. So Northern Ireland, as things stand, guys, could be going to the Euros. Which means we'll be going to the Euros. But before we can go to the Euros... We're staying in Edinburgh. We're, we're staying in shitey, fucking rainy Scotland. We need to take on St Mirren. We need to beat St Mirren. We need to pretty much beat every team we play from now on to the end of the season. So let's go and do it. All right, here we go then. Sticking with the 5-3-2. Going with Clark, Moore, Halkett, Yosha, Tommy, O'Donnell, Kingsley, Devlin, Cardero, Girelli. And we're sticking Sims and Dykes up front. There's goals in this team. There's a lot more goals in this team than there is in the St Mirren team. But we need to be careful. Every time we come up against St Mirren, McGrath and Brophy seem to have a field day against us, so let's take away all the grass. Then they can't have a field day. It should be a cracking game, though. Oh, Stevie O'Donnell! That's fucking fantastic for Stevie O'Donnell. Crossed into the back post. Sims is there. Heads it. Oh, what a goal! It's Stevie O'Donnell with the best bit of skill you'll ever see. Flicked it over the fucking defenders. He crosses it into Ellis Sims, and Ellis Sims heads it into the fucking back of the whacked whacked and people deny that Stevie O'Donnell's the better are you shitting me are you Nathan Parson Anthony Ralston what fucking kids compared to this legendary man this fucking god Jesus Christ what a goal that was Stevie O'Donnell eat your heart out should be the captain should be everything should shouldn't you need a team of 11 just a team of Stephen O'Donnell can you imagine 11 Stephen O'Donnell's running about holy fuck it's Ellis Sims giving us an early lead against St Mirren. Ginelli! Oh, the crossbar, Jesus! What a start for us here, man. Almost doubling our lead there, Ginelli. That would have been a peachy a goal, but unfortunately denied by that big piece of wood, uh, big piece of whatever it is, post that hangs above the goalkeeper's head. And no, no, it's through. Oh, great save for Sander Clark, though. St Mirren looking for a way back in. Sander Clark says no. And now it's St Mirren looking to say yes, it's a chance, it's Yosha Tommy! Fucking puts his body on the line. Holy shit, look at this for fucking Yosha Tommy. Comes in with a running big boot. Get this guy signed up to the WWE man, what the fuck was that? Janelli in towards Sims, headed away, Moore's going to be first to it. It's Moore, Taylor Moore for distance and it's tipped over by the goalkeeper. St Mirren here under the cosh, under attack, under fire. Under us. And it's Sims with another header saved again by the goalkeeper. And he's keeping them in it here. He is keeping St Mirren in this one. No, for fuck's sake. Ah, oh, the defence disappeared. Couldn't see them. It was like John Cena. You can't see me. You can't see them. St Mirren walked past them like they weren't there. And that's, what, that's the result. I mean, look at that. Shocking defender, we've been so well. We've played so amazing in this match yet, we're somehow level. Doesn't make any sense. Challenge. 
Cordero wins it. It's Cordero again. It's he's trying to find Sim. Oh, Sim's a shot. It's took a deflection. It will be a corner kick. Janelli with a delivery in towards Ellis Sim. Sims tries to get it. It's Cami Devlin edge of the box. Will be another corner. Cami Devlin there. Trying to find the top bins. It was denied. Janelli again his corner near post. This time it's head on the way. Stevie O'Donnell. Oh my god, Stevie O'Donnell. When this man picks up the ball, anything is possible. O'Donnell into Janelli. Janelli strikes it and it's straight into the hands of Linus. Linus makes the save. But here we go, it's another ball won by us, and now Moore to Janelli. And again, we can look to apply pressure here. It is Sims. Ellis Sims. Out to O'Donnell. Stephen O'Donnell. It's Stephen O'Donnell. It's still Stevie O'Donnell. Oh, Stevie O'Donnell tried to pull the trigger. But he was out of ammo. The bullet got lodged in there. It couldn't have been released. And St Mirren survive. Great challenge. Oh, no. It was a great challenge, but then we lost it. And this is dangerous, but oh no, it's still dangerous, and it's Sander Clark. Sander Clark just about gets fingers on it, gets a hand on it. And it is still 1-1 one -one here, so we look to go forward through Dykes. Dykes with the ball, it's Lyndon Dykes. Dykes with a bit of trickery, Dykes trying to get a cross in, maybe trying to win the corner, Tanzer with the block. Stevie O'Donnell flicks it off to Dykes. Dykes, what the fuck was that from Lyndon Dykes? Moore will get it though. Thankfully, ball back out to O'Donnell. O'Donnell finds Cordero. Cordero! Oh, another one handed diving save by the goalkeeper. 36 minutes in, we're still trying to find the second goal. Cordero whips a ball in. How gets it off the line? Sims, can he get first to this? He can. It's Ginelli. Ginelli out to Moore. Moving up to Devlin, Devlin, out to Stevie O'Donnell. Stevie O'Donnell skins his man, O'Donnell whips one in and oh, it's taken away from Ellis Sims. Cammy Devlin wins the header and Hearts here are just applying pressure after pressure after pressure. Dun Sunday St Mirren hanging on somehow. It's Ginelli! Oh, it's another save by the goalkeeper. What do we have to fucking do here? Come on. Ginelli. Delivery into the box. Sims is there. It's back post. Can it get kept in? It can. It's Sims. Oh, goal. It's Sims with the header. I think the captain, I think it was Craig Halkett that kept it in. He managed to stop the ball going out for a goal kick. Craig Halkett with a cross back into the box. And it is Sims with that big bushy fucking header here. And he has padded the ball, softly glanced the ball into the back of there. I mean, how did Halkett keep that in? We'll never know. And it is Sims with second goal, second header. What a signing he has proven to be. And he places it into the corner there. Keeper, no chance. And it's Hearts 2, St Mirren 1. And that's a joke. That is an absolute joke. We've just been off. I mean, we, we have to work so hard to score our goals and then they go up and do that. I mean, I'm lost for words there. I cannot, I cannot believe we're going into the break at 2-2. The way we have played, and we're going in at half-time, it's, it's, it's an absolute disgrace. I cannot believe it. It's 2-2 at the break. And now we need to go back at it. We need, we've got it all to do again. We need to somehow find an, at least one more goal. But the way we defend, we probably need more than that. Look at that, 13 shots to three. Yet somehow we're not winning. You know, it, it's not fair. What a challenge for Moore. Devlin to Dykes. Sims. Ellis Sims. Still Sims. Lays it off to Ginelli. Ginelli now charging forward. It's Josh Ginelli. Oh! Josh Ginelli. What a strike. What a goal. Josh Ginelli playing instead of Barry Mackay today. And with strikes like that, he might keep playing. Wonderful goal. Normally we have to pummel the, uh, the, the opposition goal here to try and score but Ginelli with the first shot of the second half put it right in the top bins ain't no saving them Hearts 3 St Mirren 2 and can we now hang on here actually I saying that I mean maybe the keeper should do better it's not that I thought it was top bins it's, it's pretty central I don't know should the keeper maybe do better there who cares we're winning Ginelli again oh Ginelli almost getting another goal Thought it was going into the right top corner, but then it swerves near the left. Keeper having to be on his feet there to make the save, having to be alert. 
Corner now coming in, Cordero. Yosha Tommy's there. He doesn't win the header. Oh, we've been lucky there. Saved by the post. Moore now trying to put a challenge in. Moore slides in, wins the ball somehow. Kingsley's now got it, and it's going to be a corner, St Mirren, but we were lucky not to concede for a third time in this match. McPherson standing over the ball. He's whipped it in. It's an outswinger. It's going to fall for Devlin, who's the furthest man up the pitch. And Devlin turns now. Devlin looking to attack. This St Mirren defence. He's trying to find Ginelli. And I tell you what, it's a decent attempt, and he's found him. It's Josh Ginelli. Oh, right at the goalie. Right at the goal, it should be 4-2. What a break, what a counter for the corner, but we couldn't have put the ball in the net. Ball whipped in, Dykes was there, couldn't win the header. It's Cami D again. Cami D again from distance. Shit, another block. Cami D again, Cami D. What's a good ball in? And this time it might be a corner, no. Oh, ball through the Sims, great ball. He's timed his run, Ellis Sims looking for the hat trick. Oh, and he's overran it. It's going to be Ginelli, though. Ginelli, and he can't get the shot away, either. Oh, and Sander Clark just getting, up, getting on that. Smothering the ball there. O'Donnell. O'Donnell to Dykes. Dykes for distance. It's another one-handed save by Linus. I think it's going to be Gavi then. Just brought him on. Whips in the corner. Yoshitomi. Can't get to it. Cammy Devlin can get to it. Strikes it well over. And that's it. We've done it. We've held on. Big win. We should have won by a bigger score line than that. The margin of victory was pretty small, but the, the, the margin of quality on the pitch was insane. I mean, we, we dominated that game. But here, a win is a win. 21 shots to 5. They actually edged possession in the second half, and... But you know what? I'm I'm just happy with the with the result. I mean that Stephen O'Donnell's performance there, that, that his delivery for the goal was absolutely insane. Uh, both Celtic Rangers won, so we don't claw anything on them, but we don't drop any points either, which might be more critical. You can now see we are seven points behind Hibernian, twelve points behind Aberdeen, twelve points behind Rangers. So we'll just have to wait and see what happens. Eleven games to go. Up next we've got Mullerwell, and it's just going to be the same old story. We need to keep on winning games. And that wonder assist for Stephen O'Donnell puts him top of the assist charts in the Cinch Premiership. Seven assists, 26 matches, assist per match is 0 0.27. So, I mean, uh, O'Donnell, average match rating, 6.71 goal. O'Donnell having a great season so far. Ben Enjimi, though, unhappy with lack of involvement. That could be an issue. Maybe we'll start Ben Enjimi against Mullerwell. Maybe we'll get him a game against Mullerwell. Right, here we go then, making a couple of changes for the Mullerwell game. Aaron Hickey comes into the starting lineup. Ben Benjamin comes into midfield. And that is it, guys. Apart from that, same team. Let's see if we can get the same result. Oh, Hickey. Still Hickey. Hickey comes away with the ball. Hickey in towards Dykes. But Mullerwell get the interception. Oh, Ginelli. Against Mugabe, Ginelli with his burst of pace, so impressive, but he cannot find the shot. There's going to beat Liam Kelly. Liam Kelly forces it out for a corner. Ball whipped in again. Dykes is there. Dykes with Oh, Dykes can beat Liam Kelly. Dykes is big, beautiful. He gets onto the ball, and he goes over to the Hearts fans there in the corner to celebrate. He gets tackled on the, at the corner flag. But he doesn't matter. He doesn't care. He scored the goal that puts us ahead. And then Dykes, lovely. 1-0. Fucking hell, man, really? Really? Ah, oh, we take, we make a good challenge there with Halkett and then Yosha Tommy, what are you doing? I've, I've been praising Yosha Tommy for a while now, but, I mean, that was terrible. You cannot lose the ball there. We'll just hand it Mullerwell away back into this tie, and it's only 1-1. Oh, what a ball that is to Girelli, though. Benjamin, burst a pace, gets away from his defender, hits a shot though straight at Liam Kelly, another chance over the corner, it's going to be Ginelli looking for Sims, it's there, oh Sims got the shot away, but again another save by Liam Kelly, and Hearts will look to keep this pressure on, it's Dykes, Dykes, still Dykes, Dykes loses out, and that's going to be a throw in, looks like a Motherwell player has went down injured, but he's back on his feet now. 
We go Sims is through. Ellis Sims, tight angle. Again, Liam Kelly makes the save. And that's, a, that's another goal, that's a disgrace. It's an absolute disgrace. We've allowed Mullerwell into this. We were winning, we were comfortably ahead. And we've just gifted them two goals. Fucking gift wrapped in all, man. We're a nice wee pretty bow on top. A pink bow. We're fucking shite, I'm telling you that right now. Yes, here we go, Aaron Hickey. He gets away, Aaron Hickey, surely. Oh, no. Sims slides in. Can't deny the goal kick. Sims, Cammy D. Oh, saved by Kelly. Trying to find a way back into this game, but at the moment we're being denied. Fan fiends going off. Here we go. Connor getting whipped in by Ginelli. Sims is there. It's headed away. Benjamin will be first to it. Benjamin runs through unmarked. And well, that's why he was unmarked, because they knew he was going to do that shit shot. Look, he'd never need to mark him if that's his end product. Janelli out to Hickey, Eric, come on. Aaron Hickey's charging forward, he's got Dykes, he's got Devlin. Aaron Hickey goes on his own! Oh, that's another save by Liam Kelly, though. Fuck, what do we have to do here? Right, here we go then, two substitutions being made. Boyce and Mackay coming on, we need all the help we can get. We need goals, we need them now. We've got 13 minutes to get them. It's going to be Janelli to whip in this corner. It's for Sims, Sims doesn't win the head on it. Benjamin's there, it's Barry Mackay. Out to Ginelli again. And Ginelli, we might win another corner here. We might not, actually. Ginelli keeps it in. That's shite. That's, should have fucking let it go out for a corner. That was horrendous. Oh, great save by Sander Clark. Keeps us in it there with that. Uh, we're going to bring on Gavi for Benjamin as we look to try and rescue something in the last nine minutes. Uh, it's a poor corner, but we'll take that all day long. Gavi then. Gavi to Boyce. What can Liam Boyce do? Liam Boyce running. Has to track back here. He's got to go back the way. He's nobody making a run. It's Sims. Oh, and Sims can't find Ginelli, man. That pass is horrendous. It's Sims. Sims turns back. Sims now. Facing goal. He's found Halkett. Craig Halkett. Oh, he puts it away. I thought that was in. Craig Alcott can't believe it. He goes down holding his face. And that could be our chance of winning this match gone. Just wide of the post. Great challenge there for Moore. Another great challenge. Ball goes back the way and Halkett can't win it. And it's through and it's Sander Clark. We have fantastic save. We're, we're hanging on here. Two minutes of had it on time. We pretty much need on. They're taking it short. It's smart. It probably will see it the game for them. I don't even think we'll get another touch here, will we? No, it doesn't look like it. No, well, we will get another touch, but we're going to be 3-1 down when we next touch the ball, so... Yeah, the, 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 the touch that we get won't, won't matter a shit. Aye, so Mullerwell, I've done it. They're going to be 3-1 winners. Ah, very, very disappointing there. Got Liam Dykes, just going to hit and hope. I'll tell you what, not a million miles away. But, uh, yeah, not good enough. Motherwell would have went very, very disappointed. We took the lead in this game. And we somehow ended up losing 3-1. We were not at our best. But I don't think we deserve to lose. I think we've done enough to get something, whether that be a draw, whether that be a win. If you look at the other teams, it's it's mad. I mean, look at those results there. I'm pretty sure none of the top four won. So what an opportunity that was. So you can see Celtic lost 2-1 to Ross County, Rangers and Hibs both drew and Aberdeen drew with Dundee. I mean, the good news is none of them won. So none of them took three points out of us. And it is still probably... They're still probably catchable. Celtic, no, they're 18 points ahead. Rangers, Aberdeen, Hibs. To catch Rangers or Aberdeen, we're probably going to need to... We've got 10 games left. We probably need to win at least nine of those 10 games. Hibs is realistic, though. We still have to play Hibs. Keep in mind, we play Hibs. Uh, after the split, so I mean if we beat them the gap's down to five po Before the split though, who do we still have left to play? We've got Livingston at home St. Johnston away Dundee United away Rangers at home If we can if we can win the four games in March, especially take three points at Rangers and then see what they do then 
you know, that's what we need to do to give ourselves the best chance of, uh, you know, catching the teams above us. But, yeah, not good. We are getting to the stage now where we pretty much can't afford any more slip-ups. And a 3-1 defeat to Mullerwell is definitely a slip-up. But we also have some big international friendlies at the, at the end of March. We've got Poland. We have, I believe that is Russia. Why do they keep playing me against Russia, man? For fuck's sake. Uh, if you don't want them in the game, just take them out. That might actually be Slovenia. I'm not too sure who that is, but regardless, we'll beat them. And uh, But yeah, no, I mean, I think we've got Euros to look forward to in the summer. But un unless we unless we up our game, it doesn't look like we're going to be in European football with hearts. And that is my main target this season. So, need to have a strong finish to the year. We need Dykes and Sims to start scoring goals. We need to keep goals at the back. Defending needs to improve. We need to tighten up the ship. And um, hopefully we can you know, start keeping clean sheets or we will sink like Titanic, man. It's, we'll be found dead at the bottom of the ocean. There's no doubt about that. Bottom of the uh, the table. But anyway, guys, that's it. I'll catch you in the next one. Till then, being from Scotland 90, make sure you like, subscribe, comment down below. And I'll see you later. Peace.